While the coronavirus pandemic has forced education to move online, it has also shed light on a huge digital divide that's just intensifying in this country. A recent survey by First Book shows 40% of kids in the U.S. don't have reliable internet. Lego Education and Lego Foundation announced this morning that they are partnering with a number of companies for something called Creating Learning Connections Grant. It's it's uh, implemented to address this very issue. Joining us now with the details is Lego Foundation CEO, John Goodwin. John, good to have you on the show. Uh, so just tell us, who are you partnering with to make this happen and, and how does it work exactly? Yeah, uh, well, it's great to be here. Thanks for the opportunity. We're partnering with uh, Intel, CDWG, and First Book uh, in order to provide uh, the technology that's needed in order to uh, really narrow that digital divide and really bring more children into uh, the digital learning landscape. Uh, as you rightly identified in your lead-in, uh, data indicates that 40% uh, of students are not getting access uh, to the internet or having the ready access to uh, a device. So what we're looking to do through this grant and through this consortium is put the technology in the hands uh, of the students, but importantly also giving them the training and the capabilities uh, that they need in order to really fully utilize that uh, and get the learning experiences that they, uh, they really require. Uh, John, how do you decide who, what schools get this money? Yeah, so we've gone through a process of uh, effectively putting out uh, the details of the, of the grant. Uh, and then we've had a number of applications that have come in, they've been processed, uh, schools have been selected. Uh, so we'll be uh, distributing the products across 17 states, 45 districts, uh, and we're going to uh, Title I districts, those districts that really have impoverished students that really are the recipients, unfortunately, of, this, uh, of the raw end of this digital divide. Of course, what you're doing there in conjunction with these companies and the Lego Foundation is, is definitely making a difference, but it's just a, a really a small piece of the overall pie. What would you like to see happen maybe at the federal level, at the state level, to help um, bridge that, that digital divide as we're talking about? Well, access, uh, we think, is, is really important, which is why this, uh, this grant that we've gone with is uh, part of uh, the solution that we're looking to establish. Uh, to show by the provision of both technology and hands-on uh, great Lego education learning uh, tools, we can really narrow that gap and help those people in those Title I districts, those students that are really suffering, lift their capabilities up. Hopefully through that process, we'll be able to illustrate uh, at both the, the districts and the state and the federal level uh, that there are solutions out there. Uh, in order to bring more people, be more inclusive in the education system. Now, besides this, John, where else are you looking to put money to work right now? Well, at the moment, the Lego Foundation is really turning its attention to how we can operate in many environments around the globe uh, to help uh, address the issues that over 1.5 billion students find themselves in at this point in time as a consequence of the, the global pandemic. So we're operating throughout the globe with distance learning solutions. And what we're finding is there's a lot of innovation that's coming out through this crisis. And then what we'll look to do is amplify that when we get on the far side. I know that before your position there at the Lego Foundation, you were CFO of Lego Group. And, and you know, all businesses have ebbs and flows. There was a time when Lego was sort of falling out of favor. It reinvented itself. H how is business uh, now, if you can speak to that at all, and how might other companies look at what Lego did um, as they try to reinvent and themselves and stay relevant? Yeah, I can't really speak to the, the most recent results, but... Uh, looking over that period that uh, you're referencing, uh, the company really did uh, focus on uh, its core, what it was that it was uh, contributing in uniquely uh, into children's lives, and really doubled down on those skills and capabilities, and really listened very intently to uh, the core consumers and ensuring that they were developing the products that were critical for them. And from that, got momentum and continued the, the journey. 